you guessed the rhythm? Yes, today is all about fandangos. Welcome back to my channel! This is Maria Vega with the Open Flamenco Project, your online place to learn everything about flamenco and Spanish dance. So today we're talking about fandangos and I'm very excited because I'm going to have the chance to share my knowledge live in the classes that I'm holding in central London. It will be really great if you have a look at all the information in case you want to join the classes. Everything will be underneath in the comments. So today we're talking about fandangos. Yes, and fandangos is one rhythm that I really love to work on, especially with my beginners because the rhythm is quite easy to understand so it's not too overwhelming when you are when you are starting to learn flamenco but it doesn't mean that the fandangos cannot get really really complicated so either you're a total beginner or a super pro working on fandangos is a real joy the origins of the fandango is known that the fandango started developing in the 18th century and it became quickly very popular among uh, high classes. It was normally performed by couples and also using um, accompaniments such as castanets and clapping. It was in general a very joyous type of dance used in parties. As usual in flamenco there's several theories regarding where did it come from before it made his brother appearance in Spain. Some theories says that it came from the Moorish, other from South America or others that evolved directly from some music and dances from Spain like Murcianas and Malagueñas. There are many, many types of fandangos throughout Spain, especially in the south, in Andalusia. It doesn't mean that all the fandangos are, belong to the flamenco, so they, that they have acquired a flamenco style. The most popular fandangos, they are the ones from Huelva and Malaga. Especially important in the fandangos de Huelva are the fandangos del Alosno, which is a village that belongs to Huelva. Also from Malaga, they are the very famous Verdiales. Sharing the same rhythm but having different types of tones, they are as well the Malagueñas, the Granainas, the Cantes de Levante and the Cantes de las Minas. How is the rhythm of the fandango or the compass? Um, as I told you before, is one of the easiest to pick by beginners because it's a 3-4 compass. So we have four times the 3-4 and sometimes the last one we just do a silence to make a bit more Remarkable that is the end of the phrase. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, some people also count just um, divide the phrase into one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. But just for you to be clear that the underlying compass is always the three, four. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Who is best to talk about rhythm than Demi Garcia, which is my friend and an amazing percussionist who is going to talk about the rhythm in fandangos using the flamenco cajon. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we're gonna 
practice a little bit with the Fandango's Palo or Rhythm. It's a 3-4 and basically 3-4 is like three um, compasses, beats in a bar, no? Like one, two, three, one, two, three. Like a little bit like a, a waltz, no? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three. Basically we go always playing the bass here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That's the simple. Normally, sometimes this is stop on the one, two, three, one on the two. Okay, sometimes in the fandangos you will see in the guitar that goes tum rack rack tum. We can get this, or here, okay, or here. I want to give you three little pieces that you might find useful when you do your choreography in Fandangos. The first thing I want to give you is something with castanets because Fandangos are widely choreographed and danced with castanets. They really complement the rhythm. So I want you to learn first this one that is quite easy. It's just for you to Get really into the fandango rhythm, okay? So, tarria, ria, tarria, tarria, ria, tarria, tarria, ria, tarria, tarria, ria, ria, ria. Okay, here we do it, and you see that I'm using the rhythm. One, two, three, 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 one, two. The last one, I'm ending it in the number two to give it a tiny bit of an accent, okay? E. Carretilla, I'm doing the sharp ria at the end. Okay, this is a bit of an accent, it's not altogether like when it's a carretilla. A bit of a marcaje changing sides. Okay, so we're just gonna do right and left, left and right, right and left, left and right. Okay, just with our planters. E. And at the end, we're just gonna do. Okay, I'll do it sideways. Back. Okay. Let's do. So then, I'll do it first, just in the front, and then I'll start changing. E. Now 
just want to show you a remate, which can be useful to end one part of your choreography in order to start another one. So we're going to do, starting with your right, Once again, E. One last time, sideways a bit faster. E. I really hope you found this video useful. I would really appreciate if you can spare a second to make a comment. Tell me about your thoughts, what you would like to see in the channel, or just if you have any questions related to flamenco or Spanish dance. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye, bye-bye.